Paul now on the tee box. I'm behind the camera now. He's claiming this is a putt from 120 feet. Hannah's all the way down there filming because when Paul's putting, guys, you never know. What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We got a fun video today. If you missed the battle that me and Hannah had, you want to go back and watch that. It was pretty epic, crazy ending. But one of the things I struggled with was putting, which is something that's really hard in disc golf. It is very hard in disc golf. And it, as you learn the elements. Yes. This was the first time I played on a course that was like very hilly. So there was a lot of stances that I wasn't used to. And it changes things. I got one of the best putters here in the world with me, Paul Macbeth. If you don't know him, you should now. And we're going to see how low we can go. We're playing the back nine here at uh, Lynchburg Rotary Championship Disc Golf. Peaks View Park. Okay. We're, <laughs> you're like, no one calls it that. This hole is literally <laughs> sponsored by the Lynchburg. Oh, that's who it's sponsored by. Okay. Anyways, that is where we are, and we are going to see how low we can go on the back nine with me throwing all the tee shots and Paul doing all the putting. Let us know in the comments down below your predictions, and let's jump into it right now. Hole one, guys. Straight forward, 175 feet straight to the basket. Don't hit that tree. Oh, I got that. Okay. I hope so. That was, I parked that. That was a great shot. <laughs> this is obviously the second time that you guys have seen me out in the course. We've actually been putting a lot of work here, changing a lot of things. So it's it's a little bit weird coming. This is actually my first time playing after changing quite a bit with the throwing, and it's just going to come down to repetitions because there's sometimes where I will fall back into like the old ultimate throws. Yes. But it is nice kind of coming out and seeing how stuff translates. Even though I didn't really putt that well in the last video. I still feel like I made some decent putts. Yeah, you made all your putts on flat ground. Yeah. Yeah. With the new putting form, so yeah. it's coming along. All right, this is a good warm up. I appreciate it, brother. Yeah. I just wanted to start Paul off with a nice, you know, easy one. I mean, ideally, if we just keep parking them like this the entire round. You're gonna make me look good. I mean, heck yeah, one under going for the course record, and we're on to hole number two. Hole I still, number eleven. I've been here for two minutes. I have no idea what I'm doing. Par three. 165 feet. It's a blind shot. There is a green basket down there if you can see it. I can zoom in. I mean, are we thinking jawbreaker zone? That is not the correct basket. I think, yeah, I think you need to go high. It's actually a little bit more left than that. You kind of stall it and let it finish down. What gap are you going for? Are you going for this gap on the right or the gap on the left? Just left of this dead one right in the middle. In the middle? Okay. So, so almost like you're in line with the green basket. Oh, am I throwing a putter? Yeah, or the zone's good. That's fine. And have it fade back into yeah, the hole? Yeah. You just want to throw it flat. Flat and high. Yeah, because you want to finish left if anything. This is only 165 feet. It's not that long. No. That looks good. Toss me. That's in the circle. Maybe about 135. Got a good roll. That throw it short? Yeah, so you should right. be 20 right. feet. All right, here's Paul. I did not give him a great spot. He's over here in the roots, and he's got a tree directly in front of him. He's probably going to go to the right side with a big hyzer, maybe. I'm not sure. Normally, that would be the play, but I can't shout out to my right. One, because of the hillside. Two, because of the boot. So, I think I'm going to take the fun route here. Oh, no. I think I'm going to go fun. Oh, no. He's going through? Oh, my God. Gosh, wait, that was disgusting. <laughs> Let me see this disc, I gotta show. This is the gap that he just threw it through. <laughs> I mean, it's not that big, but he made it. We are two under, let's go. Here we are guys, hole number 12, two under already. Going for the turkey. Now this would be an easy hole, dead straight, just to throw like a Luna. Is there a cuckoo barrel up there? Um, <laughs> But Paul got freaky on the last hole, so I want to get freaky. Going with the zone Z flex, we're going to hit this gap. I mean, did not sniff the basket at all, but it should be a tap in. Oh, this basket is super bent. Does it help you if I stand here like you're throwing it to me like catch? 
That was an ankle shot right there. Three down, baby. Let's go. That one would have caught you in the ankle. Hole par number 13, par 3, 150 feet. We're going B-plex again, guys. Here we go. It's right, uh, can you, have you seen it on the camera yet? No. It's right, if you come over here, it's like right behind these like two trees in the fairway. You get to see the little orange stamp right there. That is where we're going. So I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like backhand down the right hand side fairway and then just let it curl in and let just let Paul eat this up for breakfast. I mean, I might even just try and make it, who knows? Skip, big skip. Oh, nice shot. All right. I really like the Christmas sponsor this hole. Sponsor for this hole is Lint. They're sponsored every hole. Oh, Billy Chip? <laughs> Wait, is that the name of the hole or the sponsor? I think it's the sponsor. Billy oh, Chip. Shout out, shout out to Billy Chimp, man. Billy Thanks for Chimp. your sponsorship. Lightning round. Question time for Paul as we make the way up. First question is, when did you start playing disc golf? I actually, it's a two-part answer. I knew about disc golf at a young age because my dad knew, or my dad played, has played for like 30-something years. But I personally didn't start playing until I was about 14. So freshman year in high school is when I officially did. Favorite disc golf tournament? European Open, Nokia, Finland. It's just probably the most complete tournament that I've ever played. The galleries there are incredible. One day I think we'll match that here in the US, but for now, European Open. If you could play with any celebrity, who would it be? Really a big Tiger fan. Ooh. Uh, I really like Tiger. I think, think it's the golf thing, but you know, if it was an alive or dead thing, I think I, I want my chance with Kobe. Let's go final question now. You can ask me while I putt. Okay, yeah. You, you made this one easy again. Yeah, I, I parked once. I'm gonna give him a little time to set up while I think of the final question which is going to be, have you ever played disc golf in a onesie? I've actually never worn a onesie, except maybe when I was one, but um, never worn a onesie as far as I know. I don't even know if I have any pictures in a onesie. If you want to see me and Paul battle each other in disc golf in onesies, like this video down below and you might just see it happen. I'm going Spider-Man, what are you going? I, probably something with a tail, because I think it'd be fun. I think, I think you might be going Simba. Simba. <laughs> Hole 14. Surprise, surprise, 150 feet. Dead straight. <laughs> I think uh, Brody can go with the Luna. I'm this actually going to go Lady's Choice. There we go. I'm going to have her tell me what. Actually, you know what? We're going celebrity shot. Hannah, get yourself behind the camera, grab yourself a disc, and we're going celebrity shot from 150 feet. Now this was not planned clearly because she was on her phone and she is not ready at all for this. But we are doing it guys, we're putting her on the spot. Can she perform under the highest levels of pressure? Which is filming a YouTube video. Answer, 1000%. Oh my gosh, she almost aced it. Well, Paul, you're gonna have hey, another tap in. Can you answer me a question? Answer you a question? Can you answer my question? When I reached back, was I like way back here? I wasn't watching. Oh, it's gonna be so annoying. The problem is people at home, they will know before you. you you'll have to read the comments. That's what you'll have. They'll let you know. It's okay, we're all a work in progress. Everything's a work in progress. <laughs> nice throw. Brody, stand next to this basket. Guys, just to give you a little uh, idea of how tall this basket is, I'm six foot five. So this <laughs> basket is probably like, Oh, nice putt. This basket's maybe three and a half feet. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's the size of cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, party people. Where the heck are we? It's right down here to the left. Oh, it's only 120 feet. This yeah. is so short. How many holes have we played? Six, seven? Well, we're on hole 15. 15 we started seven. on. So we've done five. Five. Five under through five. We got a shorty, guys. It's about 120 feet, straight down this little gap, a little off to the left hand side. Literally, this is like not that hard. I'm just zooming in on a tree. Oh, okay, this oh. is not good camera work. Paul, Paul is claiming that this is his hole. This is a putt. You're putting from the tee box. This is a putt. I'm, I'm not even putting. throwing. No way. All right. You need to. All right, we're gonna let Paul do it. Okay. Paul's putting. This is a putt. All right, we got Paul now on the tee box. I'm behind the camera now. He's claiming this is a putt from 120 feet. Hannah's all the way down there filming because when Paul's putting, guys, 
You never know. Oh my gosh, let's go! I think we're doing it. Oh my gosh, that was absolutely disgusting. I might just wear this all the time, bro. The door of the Explorer backpack, guys? Pick it up at your local Best Buy. I think it can hold two or three putters. Oh my gosh, we're disgusting. Let's go. <laughs> well, uh, that was unexpected, but nice to have on your team having someone just juice it for you and you don't have to throw in a hole. So that puts yeah. us at seven under? Seven down? Seven uh, under or seven 15. down? Yeah, yeah, that's our sixth hole, so we're seven down. <sighs> Guys, yeah. we're going for the course record right now on the back nine. Granted, probably is illegal because we have two people playing instead of one. Do you want me to get that? Should I go get that? I mean, you're in a boot. I can walk over there. Yeah, but I should clear it in case someone comes behind us. I think you just want to have that like moment of you walking up to the basket and grabbing it in all its glory. Proper etiquette. And the crowd goes wild. I mean, Yay! This is oh, a this par is three, 160 oh, foot oh, hole. Mandatory. And, um, Left of the tree. That's a dirty mandatory too. Where Do you want to explain mandatories? I don't think we really explained it in the first video. There's a mandatory. Basically, that means that your disc has to fly on that side of the tree. So there's like an invisible line from the bottom of the tree all the way to the top, expanding throughout the universe. You cannot go on this side. So question, because there's no drop zone here, if I, if I threw one to the right, do I have to re-tee? Usually, if there's not a drop if zone. If there's no drop zone, you don't have to re -tee. And throwing my third shot with a penalty. Okay, yeah. we're not going to try to do that, Paul, because you just made an ace. So, I'm thinking the Z-Flex zone. Actually, Paul, Forehand. you made a putt, technically. Yeah, but Is it like ace an ace two. putt? One shot. Ace putt? If you ace, putt. ace from a putt, which one do you say first? Hole in one. Okay. All I know right now, guys, if I make this, if we go back-to-back -back aces, everyone watching this better subscribe. We're just gonna follow flight it with our eyes. Do you want me to go down? Do you want to have Paul film and you want me to do no, catch No, we're just gonna have people listen. That's right. a beautiful thing. All right, cool. There's chains. Now, Paul, the question is, am I going around the second big tree here? Yeah. I, I have to get I have to get past that and then have it done. Yep, and then just let it die. So you kind of just want to stall it, let it apex there. So it needs to have to kind of be a little bit high. Yep. Okay. Height will definitely help. Oh, that's money. Oh my gosh. Go Ten. in. Go in. Oh, oh just oh. under it. Okay, problem? It's really far away. No, not at all. No? No, it's, it's close. Like 10 feet away. Oh, all right. You're rolling? Yeah. I'm you... freaking crushing the back nine. Has Paul even had to make a putt? Other than the last hole. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nothing I haven't really given you that. Oh no, you made the freaking through the tree oh, shot. The tree. How okay. You know that? So I gave him one really tough one so far, but pretty much we're kind of dominating. Me and Hannah thought we were the best doubles partners. Because we are. It might have to be a Brody Hannah versus Brody Paul. You know who I am? I am the guy from the movie um, where they were twins. Okay. And they were magicians. Okay. <laughs> and like he did the ball trick. You remember he he opened the door or he threw the ball, closed the door, and then opened the door on the other side of the stage um, and caught the ball. Whoa. Tom, it's uh, Tom Cruise. Oh, that little guy? So, yeah, the little guy. Have you guys seen that movie? No. Yes, you have. The movie where he's like a magician and he does like the moving man trick and everyone's amazed, but there's actually twins and there's a trap door. We're gonna have to watch it tonight. You well, guys have never seen it? I, we don't have to watch it now. We know the spoiler. There's more spoilers, okay. but I'm basically that guy. I'm the guy that does the trick at the beginning and then the trap door falls off and I'm <laughs> underneath the stage and, and Paul's the one walking out being like, thank you. <laughs> Paul 17, par three, 260 feet. Tucked back there. Go up the fairway and it's tucked in right there on the left. Boom. My initial thoughts, Onyx, Huge hyzer. Let's see it. Paul, thoughts? That you like it? Let's do it. Yeah. Well, right. do you think it's too under? Oh, he just wants it. Because it's up high. I'm really working on my back end.
Oh yeah. Go in. Ooh. Oh, it's gonna be a little just bit short. of putt. Give me a lengthy putt. Well, that was pierced. Is that what you have done on this hole? I would have gone low skippy, but you don't have that disc, so. So that was the right play. Yeah, for what you have, your tools. Good tools thing it have. wasn't trash. <laughs> I know. Insane. It really is. The dude doesn't miss. It's just... he's, he's got a door explorer backpack on and a boot. <laughs> like, I don't know what you do to make this guy miss. So, does it take the pressure off of your driving knowing that you have a good putter? Yeah, have you seen me getting super freaky lately? 100%. Oh, you want the big hammer on the next? You can get a big hammer the next one. All right, we might go tomahawk the next one. Really put him in a tough, tough spot. All right, well, 195 feet. No idea where the hole is, so we're going to walk up and see. All right, after talking about it, we don't think going over the top is the best option, so maybe the low skip shot on the right side. What do you got, Brody? Yeah, I'm going with the zone jawbreaker. I'm actually going to go through this left gap. So I don't have okay, just left that split tree. I just go flat. Yeah, I, that makes sense why he's still the jawbreaker. I think he would have gone multi if he was going the other way. Oh, that looks good. Just Somewhere over the there. edge of the hill, but it right. should still be in the circle. Oh, we got a clap from the gallery up there. Oh, yeah. All right, walking up on my shot. A little bit closer than we thought, Paul. A lot closer than we thought. Not giving you really that much trouble here. He's going, uh, I don't know what that was. It was between the legs kind of move. It was a stumble. <laughs> and then you just made it seem swaggy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hannah, hey, thoughts on our performance so far? I mean, we're going for the course record. Unreal. Some of the best golf I've ever seen. Um, I don't know. Hannah just can't. She's lost for her. She can't believe herself. I don't blame her. That was pretty good. We have how many holes left? I mean, if we were doing 18 holes, we have what nine hole? holes left. No, what hole is this? This is hole 18. We started on hole 10. Wait, this is the last hole? Yeah. I know. I know. Been it's good. been a you wild just... ride. You just get in the zone and you yeah. just forget what's going on. Zones are all... Guys, I was trying to save the last throw to go blindfolded. I wanted to go blind. Just like no look. To give you some pressure. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, we know what's the next video. Alright, yeah, Hannah, hold this. Time. Hold this. <laughs> I see a basket right there. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a pleasure. Oh. It would have been a great outro. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. It's been a lot of fun out here playing some disc golf. Um, you know, Paul, a really great putter, probably a little bit better when he's actually looking at the basket than when he's not. But we hopefully enjoyed... Oh, that's way off. Way too the, right. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the company we had. Oh! Oh! But it was fun to be... I think we, what, shot 10 under through nine holes. If you guys want to see more videos like this, Leave a like down below. Let us know comment-wise what your thoughts were. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video, I guess. You can follow Paul and Hannah on all their social media down below. So definitely you want to check that out because I'm sure there's some hot fire stuff coming from them. And uh, that's all we got for you. It's been a great time. What's your favorite part of your day? Making that. Oh. oh. You know what's sad is we threw more shots there than we did the whole round. That might actually, we actually only threw 17 shots. Okay, let me try. <laughs> all right, Hannah's going to jump in, guys. This is the longest outro of all time. Hannah's going to end it with a meteor? A force? She's got no putter, so I just threw them all. Oh, no. <laughs> all right, she's going to go two zones to end the video for the greatest, most epic video. Oh, my God, she's no look. Oh my. Oh no. <laughs> Skip? Off. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you later. And always remember. Oh my God, this disc is rolling. In the creek. It's in the creek. Creek water. Always remember. Keep slinging those discs.